Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 354. Folate Deficiency. What are the causes of folate deficiency? Folate deficiency can happen due to malnutrition, which often happens in alcoholics, malabsorption, antifolate such as methotrexate, trimethoprim, and phenytoin can lead to folate deficiency, and also if the body has an increase in the requirement of folate, which happens in cases of hemolytic anemia and in pregnancy. What are the findings observed with folate deficiency anemia? In folate deficiency anemia, you would also see hypersegmented neutrophils, glocytis, decrease in folate, increase in homocysteine, but a normal methylmalonic acid. What are all the causes of vitamin B12 or cobalamin deficiency? The causes of vitamin B12 or cobalamin deficiency includes insufficient intake of vitamin B12, which happens in strict vegans, also in malabsorption such as with Crohn's disease, pernicious anemia, vitamin B12 deficiency can also occur due to infection with fish tapeworm, due to diphelobotrium latum, and also with proton pump inhibitors. What are all the findings seen in vitamin B12 deficiency? The findings of vitamin B12 deficiency are similar to those of folate plus the addition of neurologic symptoms. And that is what differentiates between folate and vitamin B12 deficiency. So as stated here, there is going to be hypersegmented neutrophils, glocytis, decrease in vitamin B12, there's going to be increase in homocysteine, and an increase in methylmalonic acid. That increase in the methylmalonic acid is what leads to those neurologic symptoms. Why would vitamin B12 deficiency lead to neurologic symptoms? The reason vitamin B12 deficiency leads to neurologic symptoms is because of the involvement of vitamin B12 in the fatty acid pathway and myelin synthesis. Name some of the neurologic symptoms that would occur with vitamin B12 deficiency. The neurologic symptoms that would occur with vitamin B12 deficiency includes peripheral neuropathy with sensory motor dysfunction, Posterior column problems which would affect vibration and proprioception, lateral corticospinal tract problems which will lead to spasticity and dementia. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.